How do you say brightness in Korean? Baiki. Hi folks, I'm SahanaAndroid.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, the other day I was doing the high on Android screen on time test and I noticed the average brightness on the Galaxy S6 was way brighter than the one on the HTC One M9. So the average brightness isn't fair for those tests. So I ordered this light meter. This basically measures lux, which is measure of how much light can be detected with this meter right here. Let me go ahead and show you the high on Android scientific method of measuring brightness. Let's go do this, baby. All right, guys, I've got the HTC One here, uh, the Galaxy S6, the Note 4, and the LG G3. They're all set to the largest brightness, as you can see here. All right, the maximum brightness. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it all to a black background here. And I've got this light meter here, which measures lux. You'll see that uh, if, if, I, if I just cover the sensor here, I'll get zero lux, right? So let me go ahead and test out the LCD on the HTC One M9. I get four lux, all right? Galaxy S6, zero lux. Uh, that is because the AMOLED screen uses zero energy when the background is black, and also zero for the Galaxy Note 4. And also I get four lux for the LG G3 since it's a, it use, also uses an LCD screen. Now here's where it gets very interesting and uh, you can see how much brighter the Galaxy S6 is uh, with the latest AMOLED screen. Uh, and it was kind of confusing me when I was doing the uh, high on Android SOT test because the S6 was so much brighter at uh, middle brightness. Now this will tell us scientific uh, results. So I've got the M9 with white, 455, 454, and I give it a 453, 452. All right, Galaxy S6, 675 lux. All right, Note 4, 543. 45 lux and also the g3 is 422 lux so the galaxy s6 is the brightest around 670 uh, followed by i think the note 3 546 by the m9 455 and also the g3 at 426 so now by using this meter i'll be able to set all of these at the correct brightness when I do the uh, screen on time test. Now let's do one more test. Let's actually set these at uh, average brightness and see how that looks. So I think my last test with uh, the SOT test with the S6 and the uh, HTC One M9 wasn't fair because the technology on the AMOLED screen is so much brighter, uh, which means a user doesn't have to actually make it super bright um, to get it uh, super bright. All right, I'm going to put all these in the middle. All right, and you can tell by your eyes, uh, even without doing these tests, that the AMOLED screens are so much brighter. All right, these are our middle settings. Let me do the test again. All right, HTC One M9 gets 133 lux. Let me go ahead and change this so it's white. And the S6 gets 313. So that's, that's almost double, double the brightness, more than double the brightness. Also the Note 4 gets 254, and also the G3 gets 122. Um, so you can see these results can tell you how really bright these screens are. But as you can see, the screen on the Galaxy S6, uh, the AMOLED screen is actually better than the one on the Note 4. I mean, it's better than ever, that's why it's super bright. Um, so in the average brightness, you can tell side by side, you don't need it super bright. I would actually have to, to match the average brightness on the Ace TC One M9. I think that would be what it looks like in my naked eye. Now I can go ahead and check this. Let me do that again, 133 lux. 140 lux so about the same you can see I'm I'm at the pretty low bright setting um, so I just want to show you that and uh, this is something I found but I'm gonna go ahead and use this lux meter and make my screen on time test more accurate uh, anyway this should help you also uh, about learn about the AMOLED technology on the Galaxy S6 
and the S6 Edge. Now here's an interesting test. The S6 is actually a lot brighter, brighter than the S6 Edge. Let's do this test. Uh, they're both on the highest brightness. I've got the S6 and S6 Edge. All right. The S6 Edge scores at 523 and the S6 kills it. So that could be due to how these flexible screens are produced. Um, the Galaxy S6 actually wins by a ton. Let me show you again. 500, 660, 670 Lux versus 527 Lux, uh, which is what we saw with the Note 4. So I guess the brightness is a lot brighter on the Galaxy S6. Very interesting results. Uh, do let me know what you think. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. From now on, I'll be able to scientifically measure the brightness of the LCD and also my high on Android SOT test. I don't have to redo all of them based on the meter. Anyway, that was brightness test uh, with my new Lux meter. And this is gonna be great. Now I'll be able to actually scientifically measure and tell you how much brighter a screen is. As you can see, the Galaxy S6 AMOLED technology has really improved. Um, before from Note 3, Note 4, uh, S4 to S5, we didn't really see that much, but the one on the S6 uh, specifically is really bright. Uh, and compared to the S6 Edge, I guess the screens are also different. Um, so do keep in mind when you buy the phones, uh, but these are the test results. And then you can also see the AMOLED screen uses zero energy. Uh, when the screen's black and we could verify that with the light meter anyway i'll be redoing most of my sot tests because now i have something to measure the brightness so they're all equal and i'll have more scientific results based on our high on android scientific method anyway thanks guys for watching this video don't forget to hit that like subscribe share this video with friends and family who are thinking about buying a phone and maybe they want the brightest phone or they want the one that uses the least energy. And follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, I'll stay on Android.